Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about something that I'm so excited to get into, which is Twin Flames. So we have a hot drink with us. This is uh, from Mabel's, Maple's Cafe, Mabel's probably. And it's a creamy apple cider. I haven't tried it yet, so let's try it and then we'll get into the video, okay? It's good. It's like a, it's literally what it sounds like, a creamy apple cider. It tastes like, um, I don't know, man, but it tastes good, like apple pie or something. I don't know, it's good. Okay, here's my notebook. In this notebook, I have many notes that I've been taking on Twin Flames, so I don't want to lie to you guys. I don't have it all memorized, but I do have a book in which I have summarized the key notes. <laughs> it's upside down. I have summarized the key notes on Twin Flames because there's so much to talk about. There's so much to talk about. So let's get into the video, I guess. So if you see me referencing my notebook or looking at it, looking down, you know why. I have met a couple Twin Flames in my life. Well, a couple different types of soulmates, I guess you could say. Uh, there are three different types of soulmates. There are karmic partners, soulmates, and Twin Flames. Today we're talking about Twin Flames, but we will get into the other two in other videos. I did learn a lot of what I'm gonna tell you guys from a YouTuber named Magnetize Yourself. I wanna be transparent with you guys. She, she knows her shit, so I figured if some of you don't know who she is and you're subscribed to me, at least you can still get the knowledge, but if you do want to check her out, her name is Magnetize Yourself, and she is really good at what she does. Alright, so Twin Flames. What the fuck are Twin Flames? You may be wondering. There are three different types of soulmates, like I said. Karmic partners, soulmates, and Twin Flames. The early stages of meeting someone, they all kind of feel similarly, and the one thing that they all have in common is that you feel this like magnetic pull towards them like you literally feel like their soul is reaching out and like grabbing yours to and like pulling it closer <laughs> so what i've learned through much research i have been researching the shit out of this since i met a twin flame my twin flame i don't know i met someone that i feel like is my twin flame karmic partners are pretty much people that are sent into your life to shake shit up <laughs> ruin your life <laughs> karmic partners are meant to teach you lessons. They come into your life for a reason. They are usually temporary. They bring in a lot of turmoil and a lot of toxicity, but it helps you see yourself for who you are and sees your, it helps you see your flaws, helps you want to change, and you help them in their journey. So you're meant to connect to just like bring on chaos and flip each other's lives upside down so that you can create a deeper level of healing for each other. And then once you guys have served your purpose, you separate and you move on it's usually a cycle it's usually something that you just end up coming back to so how they reference karmic partners in I guess like spiritual communities and stuff would be it's a cycle then there are soulmates which is just your best friend everything's easy you help each other grow but you don't need each other to grow you just kind of come in each other's lives and there's like this nice balanced dynamic and you just feel peace and it's easy it's fun it's nice it's you don't really bring chaos to each other's lives. You don't need each other to heal. It's just like this connection that's usually pretty easy. If you end up marrying your soulmate, you probably don't have that many problems. Then there are twin flames. <laughs> twin flames are like a mirror. They reflect you back to yourself. It's your soul in another human form. You only have one twin flame. I mean, I don't know, maybe you have multiple. Maybe you do, I don't know. Usually there's one on earth for you from what I've heard. I don't know, like I said, I have no way of proving this. Yeah, they are your reflection, they're your mirror. They guide you and help you in certain parts of your life. Usually you guys are on the same path, but you don't necessarily need each other, but you can really help each other. You're meant to be together as long as you both evolve into your higher self. I wish I could like ask you guys what you want to hear first about me meeting my twin flame or about twin flames in general. Um, I guess I'm just going to tell you quickly about meeting my twin flame and what that was like and why I think this person is my twin flame. So pretty much, I'll try to summarize it. I'm 95% sure I met my twin flame and um, it was a really interesting, intense experience. This was someone that I did not know prior to this. Like we'd never like been in the same circle or we'd never hung out with the same friends. Like I just like did not know this person. And we met and it felt easy. It felt natural, it felt just like, I don't know, like very authentic, as if we'd known each other for like lifetimes. It was so weird. It was the weirdest fucking thing ever. I remember just sitting there like, why do I feel like I could like 
say this to you when I don't know you? Or why do I feel like I could like hug you when I don't know you? Or why do I feel like, because I'm not a touchy person, so that's like different for me. Or why do I feel like I could make this joke and offend you, but I don't know you, you know? Like, it was really weird because I literally felt like I'd known this person for a lifetime. So I was like, what is happening? Like, do I know you? Like, am I, did I forget? Like, so I felt connected to this person. And then as we talked more and more, I learned that we had like all the same goals, outlooks, perspectives, values, beliefs, like everything was just so in alignment. I was like, why aren't we disagreeing on anything? And then it was like this crazy dynamic that just felt like, like home. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not close with this person. It That's why it feels weird for me to even share this because it's like, I don't really know this person just because I think I do I don't um, but what I do know is that this person felt right and I don't know what that means I'm not talking romantically I'm not talking I, I don't know what that means all I know is that this person felt right and I was just very taken aback by the experience because it was so intense I felt like I could read this person's mind I felt like I could hear their thoughts I felt just so in sync like I it felt like a mirror it literally just felt like me reflecting back to me it was really crazy to see an experience and I had no explanation for any of it I was just like oh, what the fuck <laughs> what also it turned out that we've been in the same room at the same time many times we've had many opportunities to meet but just haven't um, and there was just a lot that was like in sync it was so crazy so that led me to research soulmates and twin flames and things like that which inspired me to create this video so if you have felt that way when meeting someone and you want answers then i will finally get into what twin flames are so cheers to that if you're sipping on something cheers this is so yummy it tastes so familiar but i can't figure it out maybe it's my twin flame <laughs> okay so what are twin flames twin flames are pretty much your soul that has been split into two in a different body. So it's essentially what I said, it's you reflecting back to you. It is, it is you in another human form. It's a really deep, intense soul connection that pretty much the universe and its karmic power set this contract, the karmic contract, that you will connect with this person at some point in your lifetime. We only have one of them from what I have read. Like I said, I don't know if that's true, but we only have one of them and they're somewhere on this earth. They're different than soulmates. They are a type of soulmate, but when you hear the term soulmate, a twin flame is not that. Like I said, they're soulmates, twin flames are karmic soulmates. So they're all different kinds, but it is different. It is its own energy, and it's the strongest of the three, which I find really cool. The twin flame is the person that you're meant to be with. Whatever that means to you, it could be your best friend, your partner, your business partner, it, it's just that person that you're meant to be with and you're meant to have around for a long time. The purpose of a twin flame is it brings about a lot of enlightenment, healing, growth, and it helps you kind of speed up the process. When you're both growing alongside each other, like I said, it's you reflected back to you so you can allow that person to help you heal because they're reflecting a lot back to you that you might not be realizing, like your triggers, your traumas, certain things about yourself that you weren't aware of they're literally giving that back to you somehow maybe it's not as clear as like oh like you're selfish and they're selfish too so it's reflected back to you maybe it's like lessons that they're bringing into your life or stories they tell you about their friends that kind of show yourself something about who you are that you never realized they pretty much just allow us to see ourselves for who we are in different ways whatever that is it speeds up your growth it helps you release your wounds whenever the wounds started it helps you release what you've been carrying with you it's basically a soul reunion that's why they feel so familiar that's why they feel as familiar as this creamy apple cider it's a soul reunion it's not you meeting your twin flame i guess you could say it's you reuniting with your twin flame reconnecting and that's why it feels so peaceful so comfortable so authentic so at home to you because they are home they are you you are them you know all right so now let's talk about some signs that you've met your twin flame let's start off with the magnetic pole that magnetic pole is like an energetic thing you meet them and you just feel 
like drawn to them like you just want to know so much more about them you want to see them again you leave their presence and you miss them and you don't know why because you're like i don't know this person why do i miss you it's the solo reunification so you guys reuniting that brings about that energy of you missing them because you're so drawn to them that magnetic pull is strong it's one of those that makes you want to call them and check in even though that's not who you are it makes you want to text them and see how they're doing even though that's not your personality it makes you want to creep their instagram and go, what are they up to it's just one of those things where it's like you want to know more about them and you want to know them better but you just don't know why another sign is that they feel like a mirror so you meet them and they just feel like you're looking at you in a human form i'm sure you guys have made those connections where you're like oh she's the girl version of me or he's the guy version of me it's kind of like that i mean doesn't matter what gender i'm just saying like you'll be like it's like another version of me in a, in a different body like another sign is you feel this intense energy around you guys that you can like physically feel it's almost like the air is like getting thicker that's a little dramatic how do i explain it it's so hard to explain because it's like something you just feel like if you're sitting with them and you're talking there's just like this aura like this energy around you that you just feel like heightens the energy of the room i don't know how to explain it is this video pointless i'm sorry if you know you know okay if you know you know and please comment down below if you know what i'm talking about and try and explain it better than you because on to the next. Normally, after you get to talking, you realize that there have been many opportunities in which you could have met or you could have been in the same room at the same time, like I was saying. It's like the butterfly effect. Like one thing could have gone differently that day and you could have crossed paths, but it's likely that you weren't meant to at that time, so you didn't. Once you get to talking, you'll find like, oh, maybe you were part of the same club or something, or maybe you were at the same summer camp, or maybe you have a mutual friend and you both went to their new year's party in 2007 you know what i mean like there could be some like parts of your story and their story that line up somehow and you're like damn we could have met when you get to talking to them you might find that you have a lot of the same values and beliefs as if almost you were like raised by the same parents i'm not saying like you guys have the exact same personality or anything no you can be totally different i feel like i'm pretty different than my twin flame but i also feel that mirror effect but um what i mean to say is like the shit that matters to you, your values. So for example, your religious beliefs, or maybe um, if you're vegan, maybe they're vegetarian, or maybe they eat very clean, you know, like similar lifestyles. If you want kids or if you want to get married, and let's say this is like a romantic twin flame, usually they're on the same page when it comes to timelines and beliefs in general, what they want, the way they want to raise their children, or if they don't want children. These are all things that you don't have to sit down and have like a really serious conversation about with them because you already see things the same way. It's, it's like a beautiful and easy connection. Also, another sign, this is only for people who have met a soulmate, you will find that this connection is stronger than your soulmate connection. So if you know one of these people around you that you have in your life are a soulmate, the reason why this twin flame energy will stick out so much to you because you'll be like, damn, like I thought my soulmate was my soulmate. Is this my soulmate? Maybe not, maybe it's just your twin flame and maybe you're better off with your soulmate, I don't know. But what I mean to say is just that pay attention to the energies that you feel around both people. If this connection feels a lot stronger to you and unexplainable and you're just like confused by it because you're just like, what is this person? Who, who are they? It's probably a twin flame because I find that the soulmate energy is a lot less intense. Another sign is that you may miss them more often than you'd like to admit, maybe you just met them and you already missed them. Maybe you just want to see them all the time you think about them. Like there's someone that's kind of on your mind more often than they should be and you don't know why. Another sign is if they feel like home. They feel just, you just feel comfortable around them. You feel, everything feels authentic, nothing feels forced. It feels like you can be your true self. They just feel like home. It's a really peaceful feeling. It's a really rare feeling. And I'm not saying only twin flames can make you feel these things. I'm just saying, it's a very specific energy that's around when you're interacting with one so you will know the difference i promise you it's so like it's a lot <laughs> it's pretty intense so with that being said some final thoughts on this i just want to remind you guys that this is a mutual thing this is not something that only you're feeling your twin flame is feeling this too and they might hint at it or make comments about it maybe they won't tell you because think about it you're not telling them how you feel so just know that you're not alone in this everything that you're feeling they are feeling too Maybe if they're less spiritual, they won't be like, this is my twin flame, but they're gonna know that something's different. They're gonna know that this energy is intense, that this chemistry is undeniable. They will feel it. They might not be able to put words to it or understand what it means, but they're gonna know that meeting you made them feel very different and very intense and 
yeah just know that you're not alone if you're awakened or if they're awakened and i mean spiritually it will be even more intense so don't take it personally if you know months down the line you guys talk about it and for you it was this like life-changing significant moment because you are spiritually awakened but for them it was more just like this unexplainable connection that they're just like oh I don't know. you know like don't take it personally because if they're not as awakened as you they won't be as aware of the signs and of the feelings and of the energy so don't think that it's all in your head if you hear them say that or if you you know just i just want you to know that like it's it's different it's different when you are awakened because it's kind of like when non-awakened people meditate for the first time and they're like this shit is pointless but as an awakened person you meditate and you can have a beautiful experience it's because you know you've put a lot of work into that you've practiced meditating i guess you could say you're more spiritually in tune so you are going to have a more intense experience with a lot of things that are spiritual so just keep that in mind also i want to remind you guys that soon after you meet this person your ego will give you doubt don't worry about it, that's normal. Your ego will be like, is this my twin flame? I haven't talked to them in three weeks, like maybe they're not, or I don't know, like this person is doing this with their life, I don't know if they're my twin flame. Just trust the universe. Yeah, your twin flame could be your romantic partner, they could be your best friend, they could be whoever. Just allow the universe to take its time on the connection. Maybe they're not meant to be that significant in your life for another five years. You know what I mean? Like maybe, they're just gonna be around for like a couple months. I don't know, but just trust that the universe knows what it's doing. Don't let your ego talk to you. If you feel like this is your twin flame and you're sure of it, just know that, acknowledge it, and try and forget about it. The unsettled feeling is very normal. Just trust your intuition. Some days you're gonna feel like 100% about the connection and them being your twin flame and all that, and other days you're gonna be like, how are they? It's, it's up and down. It's just, again, just trust your intuition. I also want to remind you guys that if the connection is taking a long time to develop and you're kind of impatient, just, you know, be patient. Maybe it's not the right time for you guys to connect on the level that you want. Maybe you just need to wait it out and allow yourself to do more healing and allow them to do more healing and encourage each other and help each other on that healing journey side by side, but with distance. And then eventually you can come together in a harmonious way whatever that means to you. So just trust the universe and yourself. That's that's the main thing I want you to take away from this video. Whew, okay, that was that was a good one. That was a good one. And I'm pretty much done mixing the apple cider, which never really happens. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love talking about this stuff. So if you have questions about Twin Flames, ask away in the comments. And if there's enough questions, I'll make another video. If not, I'll just answer the comments. Keep an eye out for the karmic partner and the soulmate videos because those are really important, especially the karmic partner one because I just finished a karmic cycle a couple months ago and that shit is traumatizing, but it is worth it. It is so necessary. If you're familiar with tarot, picture it as the tower moment. That is like what the karmic partner brings into your life. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please comment, please subscribe, please like. Commenting helps me out so much. I'm gonna go make some progress. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.